Hello, 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 welcome to the Daily Drive. I am super excited to be back on this schedule that I'm on now, y'all. I had switched to Tuesdays and Thursdays for a little while, and I just wasn't feeling motivated by that at all. And it was hard for me to come and think of something to talk about because I just wasn't feeling motivated by that for some reason. And so I am glad to be back to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because that gives me a little bit of direction. It gives me a little bit more uh, motivation and energy to get on here and talk. And so welcome to The Daily Drive. If you are new here, if you haven't watched one of these before, The Daily Drive is just a worksheet that I created. I was diagnosed with anxiety in 2010 and really had no idea what to do to be in control of that, to take care of it, to change my mindset. And when I started to learn what I could do to be in control of my brain, even when I have anxiety every day, I learned that intentional thinking, small step goal setting, and gratitude can help you change the direction of your thoughts and help you get in control of your brain. So I made that worksheet, shared it, shared it with a few people, and also kind of learned that my purpose in life is to do this, kind of. It's to speak openly, publicly, and vulnerably about anxiety and mental health because I think that we don't have enough of a spotlight on mental health in our world right now. And so I just want to put mental health awareness out there. And so that's why the Daily Drive is here. That is why I do this. And with all of that being said, since we're back to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, on Wednesdays, we will talk about gratitude because, uh, like I said, on the daily drive, that's one of the three main parts on the worksheet because gratitude is probably one of the biggest things that you can use to stay in control of your mind and to get in control of your mind because to stay in control of your mind, you have to get there first, right? Gratitude is something that you can use for your benefit. Excuse me. <laughs> I just woke up off the couch. That's why my hair looks like this. I have like, I fell asleep with my hair wet, so I don't even know what's going on. Uh, but gratitude. When you think about gratitude, when you do a gratitude practice, when you journal about gratitude, when you tell someone why you're grateful for them, when you do any kind of activity or thought practice, uh, where gratitude is involved, some chemical things happen in your body. When you think about gratitude, you are releasing the same chemicals and hormones into your body that are associated with the feelings of joy, the feelings of bliss, and the feelings of calm. So when you're thinking about gratitude, you're intentionally allowing your body to feel calm, to feel bliss, to feel joy in a chemical way. Those are chemicals in your body that are doing that. Hormones that we have, you all know about. I don't need to give you the science, you know, the science explanation, but you know that you have chemicals and hormones in your body. And when you think about gratitude and do gratitude practices, you are bringing forth those hormones that are associated with those feelings, joy, calm, and bliss. And so that's why gratitude can help you change your mindset, get control of your mind, uh, wake up in a better place. One of my favorite things to talk about is gratitude when you're getting ready to fall asleep because it's going to help you calm down and get into a calm place. So when I start going to bed at night, I start thinking in my mind about what I'm grateful for so I can get that calm going in my body, right? So that's how gratitude works in your body. And that's why it's one of the three most important parts on my daily drive worksheet. And one of the things that I do most often, because again, when you're thinking about gratitude, you are literally and physically taking control of the chemicals in your body, right? And so on Monday, when I hopped on here for a quick one on Monday because it was a holiday, but I still brought you some motivation Monday, I gave you a question to think about on Monday. And that question was, are you purpose driven in your daily activities and in your interactions and your goals and uh, 
and what you're working on every day, is that driven by your positive, powerful purpose? Or is that driven by shame? Are you comparing yourself to other people? Are you f having feelings like you're not enough? And so that's pushing what you're working on, what you're doing. Are you purpose driven or are you shame driven? That is what I posed to you on Monday to think about because when you are driven by shame, you won't stay motivated in the same way you will as if you're driven by your purpose. If everything that you are working towards is aligned with your purpose, then it's going to be easy for you to find the energy of motivation versus if you're working on things out of shame, you're not going to really stay motivated. It's going to be hard to stay motivated. So are you purpose driven or are you shame driven? Now, what does that have to do with gratitude? Well, how do you stay purpose driven because it's it's one thing to say that you are pushed by your purpose and it's one thing to say that your purpose is what drives you but how do you stay purpose driven through all of the ups and downs through life through you know going to work that may not be the job that's directly to connected to your purpose right now how do you stay purpose driven through all of the ups and downs of life. First of all, you get to determine what your purpose is. And that might be in different stages, in different levels, right? When you put in the work on your own, on the inside, to figure out who you really are, what you like, what revs your engine, what you love to do, what you wake up thinking about every day, when you put in the work to love yourself and to uncover all of that, that's the first step because then you know what your purpose is and your purpose comes to surface, comes to light when you're not really expecting it, when you're just working on yourself, when you're just learning, when you're just going through life in a positive way, your purpose comes to light while you're maneuvering all of that. When I started on this growth journey that I've been on now for years, I really had no direction. I had no idea that I enjoy talking about this. I was just looking to understand myself better and understand how I can be in control of my own mind better, right? And when I started to share that with people and be more open and vulnerable about it, it evolved into me knowing that this is what I want to do in life. And so when I wake up in the morning, I start thinking about my purpose. How can I live in the energy of my purpose today? And your purpose does not have to be one solid thing. Yes, I feel my purpose is to speak openly, publicly, and vulnerably about anxiety and mental health. But that's one part of it for me. There's lots of other things that fall under that for me. There's self-care things to make sure that I'm good on the inside. There are things that, you know, my job right now, I just wash dogs all day, but it brings me joy. I rescue animals. My husband and I rescue animals. And so that brings me joy. And so that is within my purpose right now while I'm working on other things, right? So you have kind of like the umbrella of your purpose and then all the other things that fall within that. I work on a lot of things within that purpose. I like to create content. I like to share about mental health. I like to create artwork and jewelry. I like to um, rescue animals and be an advocate for animal rescue. All of those things lie under my purpose. And so how do you stay purpose driven? Well, what do we talk about on Wednesdays? Gratitude. You use gratitude to stay purpose driven and to focus on the next step, on the next thing that you need to work on. You use gratitude to remain grateful for your purpose, to share that you're grateful for either knowing what your purpose is or that you're grateful for the experience of learning what your purpose is, right? So you're grateful for your purpose and what it entails. When I start thinking about gratitude, I am grateful that I have a new understanding of mental health. I'm grateful that I have the ability to speak about it. I'm grateful that it brings me joy to share this information with other people. When I start thinking about all of the reasons why I'm grateful that that's my purpose, it gets me excited. It gets me wanting to get into 
bigger things, more things, right? So you use gratitude to stay purpose driven. You If you are living in a state of gratitude all the time, you're thinking about gratitude more than you're thinking about, you know, negative things, bills, life adding up. If you're thinking about gratitude all the time, that's why people say attitude of gratitude. And I used to roll my eyes at it, but now I get it. If you are living that attitude of gratitude, then you're turning to gratitude first and foremost. So if I'm in a moment where... I'm feeling low, I'm comparing myself to other people, I don't, you know, value myself or what I'm doing. If I'm having one of those moments, I redirect my mind with gratitude and remind myself that I'm grateful, that I have a platform that I can share that with. I don't always have to share the the happy, sunshiny moments with you all. You also get to see the lows when I'm not back to kind of a a normal schedule with these daily drives. And you all were right there with me while I was maneuvering through that. And so it doesn't always mean that everything is going to be perfect and pretty. But when you use gratitude, when you express gratitude for your purpose as a general entity, then that's going to bring you that emotion, that energy to get deeper into that. So not only do I use gratitude for my overall purpose, but then I think about the abilities that I have. I'm grateful that I have the ability to speak. I'm grateful that I have internet, that I can get on here and talk to you all. We had internet problems for a while last year and my lives were kind of choppy in some places, right? So I'm grateful that I have internet, that I have a phone to get on here and use, that I have a voice to speak with, that I have an understanding of this information and I'm not bringing you false information or skewed information. So I'm grateful for my purpose. I'm grateful for the ability that I have to perform my purpose. I'm grateful for the time that I have to live in my purpose, right? I have carved out this time Uh, three times a week to make sure that I'm living in my purpose. And then there's also other things that I do all throughout the day, all throughout the week to make sure that I'm living in my purpose. I also create mental health content for social media. I also coach people, talk to people. I, you know, go wash dogs, which gives me a little bit of self-care and a little bit of joy in my life. So I express gratitude for having the time to live in my purpose. I express gratitude for having the place to live in my purpose. I have an office, I have a house, I have a a giant universe outside even if I didn't have these things. I've done daily drives in the car at the park or, or whatever before and so I'm grateful for the place, for the space, the mental space, the physical space, right? Things that we want to do, that we're thinking about, that we're excited about, takes up space in our minds, right? And so I'm grateful that I have that mental space to present my purpose, to live in the energy of my purpose, right? I'm grateful for my mindset. If my mindset is not where it needs to be that day, I'm using gratitude to get it there. I'm reminding myself of what I'm grateful for to flip my mindset, right? I'm grateful for my goals. And remember, if we're talking about goals in the daily drive sense, this daily drive worksheet is daily, every single day. And so these are small step, tangible, attainable, achievable daily goals. The place for your big overall goal is, you know, in your planner, on the poster on your wall, on your dream board, whatever. But on your daily drive, you look at your schedule, you look at what you have coming up next, and you thoughtfully consider the goals that you would like to complete for the day. And when you cross those off, you feel more confident in yourself, you feel satisfied with yourself. And so then you get a whole new layer of gratitude. You're grateful for the completion of your goals, for the energy that that brings to you. So how do you stay purpose driven, right? I posed the question on Monday, are you purpose driven? Are you driven by your purpose or are you shame driven? Are you driven by shame and comparison and negative emotions? Are you purpose driven or are you shame driven? And then how do you stay 
purpose driven is the question for today. How do you stay purpose driven? You use gratitude. You remain grateful all throughout the day. You wake up grateful for your purpose. You wake up grateful for the energy that you have to live in your purpose. You use gratitude to redirect your mind to allow you to stay purpose driven. When your mind starts thinking about something else, that is how you redirect your focus by using gratitude to point you in that direction and to stay purpose driven. Gratitude will redirect your focus 100% of the time because of those chemicals that it releases. You want to give yourself 90 seconds at least of thinking about gratitude That's how long it takes in your brain for energy and emotion to shift is 90 seconds. So when I start thinking about gratitude, yes, I'm grateful for my purpose. I'm grateful for the abilities that that I have. I'm grateful for the time that I have. It's in full sentences, full statements. I am grateful for, I am grateful for everything, everything so that it can be 90 seconds or more and really change that energy. When you're thinking about gratitude, there's a huge difference between just, you know, maybe listing, oh, I'm grateful for my house, my car, my animals, my windows, my, there's a huge difference between that and full energy energy. I am grateful for the house that puts a roof over my head. I'm grateful that it allows me to do certain things. I'm grateful that I have the time to sit down and work on this project. It's full 90 seconds, full gratitude statements so that you are shifting that energy in your body. When you use gratitude to redirect your focus, you're going to focus better and it's also going to change your energy going to change the energy in your body. Because remember, any kind of gratitude practice, whether you're journaling, whether you're telling someone why you're grateful for them, whether you are watching a video, a YouTube video about gratitude, making a gratitude list, doing a gratitude challenge, whatever it is you do to think about gratitude, those actions release the same hormones into your body that are associated with the feelings of calm, the feelings of bliss, and the feelings of joy. So not only are you redirecting your energy, but you're thinking about your purpose in a joyful, in a blissful way right? So you're making your purpose that field of energy for you because it's a positive thing. And so you're releasing those positive chemicals into your body in order to stay purpose driven. You're using gratitude to redirect your focus because y'all have heard me say this before, where focus goes energy flows. What you focus on is where your energy is going to go. If you are focused on your purpose, if you are focused on gratitude and how grateful you are for your purpose and your ability to live in your purpose, if you are focused, laser focused on that purpose, that is where your energy is going to go. If you're focused on comparing yourself to other people, on feeling shame, on the not enoughs, on scrolling through Instagram, looking at all of the girls in their bikinis and feeling bad about yourself, whatever it is, if that's where your focus is, that's where your energy is going to stay. But you can use gratitude, again, to get out of there and refocus your energy. So are you purpose driven or are you shame driven? And then how do you stay purpose driven? You use gratitude to live in the energy of your purpose. Remain grateful for your purpose. Remain grateful for the abilities that you have, for the time that you have, for the place, the space, the mindset, the goals, whatever it is that comes along with your purpose. You're expressing gratitude for it. And you're redirecting your focus so that your energy is focused on your purpose. Because where focus goes, energy flows. Allow yourself more than 90 seconds, at least 90 seconds, to think about gratitude and redirect your thoughts. So stay purpose-driven rather than shame-driven by living in a state of gratitude and allowing gratitude 
to fuel your purpose. And then it'll be easy to wake up every day and live in your purpose. It'll be easy to find new things. You'll get excited about different things. You'll just live in a more calm state because you're just thinking about gratitude. You're just over here happy about all the things you're grateful for. It will change your energy, I promise. Stay purpose-driven by redirecting your focus and focusing your energy on your purpose. Where focus goes, energy flows. I love y'all so much. I always make sure that I put you in the joy jar. Today I wrote mental health, whoops, mental health warriors, because we're all out here fighting some kind of battle that somebody might not see. And uh, I can promise you that we've all got similar things going on and, and we all just think it's only us, right? So you go in the joy jar, my mental health warriors. I'm always grateful for everybody that is out there just in the world, whether you tune in, whether you interact with me, whether you're part of my social media groups, whatever, whether you've just caught this on a whim and don't know who I am, I'm grateful for all of you and for you all being here and for you fighting that mental health battle and coming out stronger and coming out on top. You always go in the joy jar. If y'all can do me a favor and check out dailydrivecoaching.com. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, put your email address in, you will get content from me to your email as I update my website, as I post the daily drives, as I post blog posts, uh, whatever it is that I send out, you will get, you can see all of my services, all of the past daily drives, the things that I like to write about, my retail, my jewelry, all of that, dailydrivecoaching.com. If you're not part of my Becoming Unlimited Facebook group, you can search for that on Facebook. It's tagged here in this video, uh, or you can just let me know and I can invite you. That is just a free mental health support group on Facebook where you get these daily drives, a little bit more content about unlimiting your your thoughts so that you can crush life and just a community of support so that you know you're not in this life journey alone. That's Becoming Unlimited on Facebook. If you are catching Daily Drive Coaching on YouTube, I love you so much. Do me a favor and hit subscribe and turn on notifications and turn on notifications for all of my social media because I'll never ask for a fee for what I do here. I just ask that you help me spread mental health awareness. You can see all of my services on dailydrivecoaching.com. And so this social media platform is just to further mental health awareness. And when you engage with me, when you tag a friend, share a video, comment with me, it helps me in the social media world. Uh, and that's all that I need. It's just to help spread mental health awareness and to keep breaking the stigmas around mental health. I love y'all so much. Remember to sit down and really think about what drives you? Are you purpose driven or are you shame driven? And when you know your purpose, how do you stay there? How do you stay purpose driven? Gratitude. Think about gratitude more often than anything else. Be grateful for your purpose, for your abilities, for the time you have, the place you have, the space you have, the mindset you have about it, the goals, plans that you have etc. Whatever else there is to be grateful for related to your purpose. You express that gratitude in 90 seconds, at least 90 seconds or more all throughout the day, all the time where focus goes, energy flows, and that's how you stay purpose driven. I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here and for being back on this schedule with me that gives me energy and makes me a little bit more excited to be here. I appreciate it. I will see you soon.